we're, we're kind of trying to pull more out of everything that we do than just simply presenting work. Chapel Art Studios, it's uh, located in North Hampshire, about 50 miles from Winchester, halfway between Winchester and Salisbury, and a bit close to Stonehenge as well-ish. Started in 2009, it's a converted chapel. A local arts charity, the Test Valley Arts Foundation, raised uh, a significant bid from the Arts Council and local borough councils and various industries to convert it into a place which could be used as a venue and a studio space. We wanted, we wanted to say yes to everything at first, try out whatever we could do, just, just experiment and see, see what stuck. We had to make some decisions on how we were going to make our organisation sustainable and manageable in that way. So that was around about the time we applied for some more funding from the Arts Council to become an MPO. And the, the MPO application we put in about four, four years ago was based on three things. One, it's develop an artist network. Um, we wanted to build a programme of residencies. And the third thing was our CAS2, which is an off-site venue, a second, second thing. And this is like um, the last part which is unfolding right now. And I think it's the vital part which really makes everything work. It's, it's more of that engagement space. So it's support the artist first, make that place dynamic and lively so we could bring the artistic traffic here, then then by virtue of doing that we're able to support what's around us and thereby we have a package which has um, supports both ends of the spectrum I suppose. Like I said we've got that, that really high quality interesting uh, critically engaged artwork in a fantastic space plus we've also got that um, quality of relevance to, to our local population communities um, where they can learn, thrive and experience and, and be edu educated in a creative way. Well, the programme is constantly developing because we're constantly developing all the mm -hmm. time. You know, we potentially this new space this year as well. Um, and actually, over the probably 12 years that CAS has existed or that Chapel Art Studios have existed, it, is constant, it has constantly grown, evolved and changed. So the programme is still evolving. But generally, that main chapel space that we have we're giving over ideally to two residences a year, so we call those Casair residencies, the artists in residence, and that brings in an artist for three months in the area to um, to engage the general public in some way and make their own work in some way. We show a whole range of work. We've got our associate artists, which range from very, you know, experienced artists that are further in their career down to emerging artists, and they show together. Uh, so we're trying to grow the artists that we work with, sustain the artists that are coming in, you know, at a further level in their career and just make it a healthy and dynamic um, environment. And we have a commitment to the diversity of the artists that we show um, and, you know, that's something that we need to keep aware of and keep pushing and keep expanding on. So we are learning all the time, but it's a commitment that is is natural to us because we want that interest you know of, of different voices and different people involved and in, in working with different people um, from all sorts of you know backgrounds and communities